as a country, Kenya, we discovered many areas that we can learn from Indonesia. And also, we identified several areas where we think Indonesia can, can learn from Kenya. But let me first of all mention that we see this as a very long-term relationship. We want to create a long-term relationship uh, because what brings us together and joins us is determination to, to have some courage. Some of the things that you are doing, for example, uh, the ban of the export of, uh, of raw material requires some courage and some determination. And you have mentioned that um, the president of Indonesia is leading the way and you know, uh, stamping uh, his foot on the ground in terms of performance. And I want to uh, confirm to you that is the same uh, kind of leadership we have from President Ruto. Within a very short period of eight months uh, since our new government came to place, we have managed to uh, change a lot of things, even uh, amidst a very uh, difficult situation in the world. As you know, uh, Honorable Minister, the world is going through a lot of uh, challenges right now. You mentioned, and we are very excited to note that you managed to keep inflation very low, uh, it, despite the fact that elsewhere in the world, uh, inflation is at all-time high. And, and some countries, especially in Africa, we are paying a very huge price for the inflation that is not manufactured in Africa, inflation that is manufactured elsewhere. But because of that, our currencies are suffering and uh, our macroeconomic indicators are taking a hit because of inflation happening elsewhere. So it will be interesting also to learn from you. How did you keep inflation low even when inflation is very high in, uh, in, uh, in the dominant economies of the world? There must be some secret, and I promise you, I will not go back to Kenya until you give me the secret. <laughs> because um, this is a very, very remarkable, really, how you, you manage to keep inflation uh, very, very, very managed, and how you manage to...